It's it's it does. It keeps blinking like we live already. Ain't we, ain't we live? <laughs> we live already. Okay, y'all. Don't judge us. Y'all know we still working this thing I'm out. Still working now. I don't know what the fuck we doing. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, Timmy, we fucking up, boo. That's what the fuck we uh, doing. Right this, nigga, this nigga tried to sell me an energy drink, some gloves, socks, <laughs> and a cigarette. <laughs> this nigga just walked around with a whole store. Are we live? Can you see us? We live, right? Uh, you can see us? <laughs> we already live. We already live. And I don't know what the hell I'm doing, y'all. You know we got you y'all know yeah. we working this shit out. I know we the section eight of talk shows. <laughs> <laughs> we are definitely the section eight of talk shows. This is, section, this is the section eight portion of your life right here. <laughs> Good morning, my bro. What's up? Who welcome to hey, the who? we trying to get our <laughs> we trying to get our shit together. So don't judge us. And if you do, fuck you, okay? There you go. Cause there you go. It's too early for this shit. It's too early for this bullshit. Right. And we try to get our life right out here in these yeah. streets. I know. I'm, I'm good. Why you got that shirt on? You about to go paintballing? I <laughs> think <laughs> <laughs> paintballing. That's all oh, that bright ass shit like a moon, like a, a moon bounce for kids. Good morning, boo. What's up? Good morning, Bray. <laughs> Good yeah. morning, Big Who. Good morning. Good morning, Big, big Who. Good morning, my bro. Welcome to the my party. What's Welcome up? to the party. So, shout out to our super producer, Big Dale. He's a little under yeah. the weather. He's yeah. a little beneath the weather this morning, y'all. I am too. I feel him, girl. I got this damn cold. Huh? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a got this damn cold. I'm allergic to uh, fentanyl. Junkies and work. You are stupid. I know this this cold has got me down. Howard G must have heard you was in here talking about him. (laughs) (laughs) No, I wasn't Howard. I love you, Howard. I see you Sunday, Howard. We got show together Sunday. (laughs) Yes, he must have heard you was out there talking about him yesterday. I got nothing. I got nothing love about about your ass. Howard ain't nothing. No, no, I listen to OG in the game. I got number love for Howard. He started me out. He said, Do we need a stamp to watch this? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you do. You need the EBT do. card. This thing, I'm telling you, we should just change this to this change this shit to the EBT talk show. <laughs> you don't get shit for it and you can't sell it. You got food stamps, we got a call. <laughs> <laughs> On live, can't talk now. Shit, that's what we need to say. Yeah. All right, so Howard G420 is still waiting. Oh, you ain't had him on your show yet, Big Who? Yeah, you got to go, bro. Let me tell you something. 420, best internet internet show I've ever been on, man. They're hilarious, man. The guys are great. We should they all are great. come there together. It's great. But you got to wait as much of old niggas there, so they, they might be in the houses. So you got to wait. I don't know. One of them came. One of them came late. Talking about they had a doctor's appointment. It was like nine thirty. So. <laughs> no, bro. Yes, honey. We gotta. Um, we gotta go in there together. That'll be the shit. We'll have so much fun. Right. Okay. What's going on, Timmy? How you feeling, boo? I'm good. I'm just under the weather. You messing are. around, man. Me and Big Dell messing with the same girl. <laughs> <laughs> we both sick by the same girl. Supposed to come out. They're gonna fuck you up. You know that nigga 619. Yeah, old big ass nigga. He big like a peach. Yeah, he's like one big bitch. So I tell you, damn, sir. Uh, yeah, I ain't had nothing to do with it. That was man. That wasn't the, man. The girl like me, okay? Uh, no. <laughs> big ass devil. He, like, he ain't got no mother. He was made, that nigga was made in a lab. That nigga petri dish. <laughs> His mother named petri dish. <laughs> <laughs> His daddy named dish. <laughs> oh, big ass dude. I ain't big dudes like them. They're all big for no goddamn reason. I ain't big dudes like them. You ever see a nigga so big? You ever see a nigga so big? You ever, try, you ever see a nigga so big? You just try to wonder how you're going to beat him in a fight and you don't even know him? You know what? I'll punch him right in his nuts. I would. I don't even know this nigga. And then you get beat up and do what? <laughs> yeah, I know. Go home and practice the moves you should have done. <laughs> Next time you do this, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> you know you funny.
funny as a motherfucker when motherfuckers remember your shit. Yeah, Even no. You need to start writing, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> You left yourself open for that one. Uh, Whatever. What's going on with you this weekend? This weekend, I'm yeah. going to be in Orlando. Okay. All right. Working out our magic mojo, honey. We can't do this shit forever. We got to get off the welfare because yeah. our, our man got snapped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Damn. Yeah. We're going to mess around. We're going to tell everybody. Yeah, let's go back to the chef. So good morning, chef. Chef said he's up, on chef? a magical project for the next month, but then he's gonna come back and cook sausages for everybody. I don't okay. So we want lots. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You eat a lot of sausage. Not that kind. They just walk away when you finish. I don't. <laughs> you saw that they just happen to walk away when you done. I'm cautious. <laughs> I specialize in. You know me, girl. I'm 47. I got number turkey sausage. I'm 40. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing left. You don't even have those. You got Vienna sausage. Tell the truth. Yeah, my shit vegan. Ain't nothing left. And there ain't no meat left for me. I'm all vegan down there. I got vegan penis. <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you, that's the best kind because everybody's going vegan now. I'm going to have to start only eating vegan meat. I don't, I'm, I'm not doing that shit. I'm not dying healthy. Fuck that. I'm sorry. You laying in the cash in. I'm over top. You eating a cheeseburger. Mm, mm, mm. He was a vegan. Thank you, boo. I can't wait either. Whatever. Little Timmy. Whatever. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Shit. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question. Do you plug that shirt up? Do I do what? You have to plug that shirt up. Let it charge. That bright ass shirt. It's actually a whole one. It's my pajamas. I was going to keep it a secret, but you know, made me a mess, so I just figured I'd come clean. That's a big-ass one. That's a onesie and a twosies. That's a onesie, a twosie, and a threesies. <laughs> it's a onesie. Listen, it's a lot of shit going on in the I news. I it. It's a lot of shit going on in the news, Lord Tammy. Yeah, I know. Listen, so before we get to that, let's see what comments we got. Oh, sausages. Monroe. That's for you, Timmy. Whatever. Come on, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll fuck a nigga kneecaps up. You damn right. Because he low right. Hey, I, I know how to I know how to hurt Howard G. I just snatched that low ass chain he always wear. That's a, that's a got that power. Hey, nigga, I produce a big day. Hey, Dell. Get better soon because we miss you, man. Timmy did like 50 minutes yesterday because your ass wasn't here. Yeah, you must have gave me a cold. Go ahead. You're crazy. Like and share this feed, as he said, though, because yes, we are here each and every Monday morning. And what I'd like for you extra to do is I want you guys to click on your um, notifications so that when we do go live, because we're never on time, even though the goal is to be 1010 10 every morning right here, Monday through Friday. When we get real checks, we're gonna do we're that. The, um, we're the most what? Um, we're the most unprepared, prepared show you will ever see. All right, and that's what makes us juicy. Oh yeah, that and hamburgers. And we don't know shit. Go ahead. <laughs> that too. That too. Right. But here's here's where we are. So Felicity Huffman, you remember not too long ago them uh, whole schools cheating to get your scandal. children to college scandal. So, Miss Felicity Huffman, you might remember her from uh, the what was it? The white what was that show? Um, Desperate Housewives. Yeah. Remember, it was all the rage. Then she did a few other things, but anyway, her she's pled guilty. She it turns out she pled guilty and has agreed to pay fifteen thousand. I mean, to paying fifteen thousand to a false charity to help fake her daughter's SAT scores in the mm -hmm. college. Admission scandal. Yeah, so I want to know what her jail time going to be. If, if it, uh, four to ten months, possibly four to ten months. Huh? Four to ten months, possibly. That's all. Yeah, that's it. That's some bullshit. She might as well, and she ain't going to do a day. She ain't going to do it. I, I think she will. Dale said, "Give <laughs> me your eighty-eight S curl." <laughs> that's not, okay. Right. Hi, can you see his curls under that under that cap? Oh, I, 
They'll go off the memory right there. This no, no, you just jealous because you fucking too big for your own fucking good. Can't find a shirt. That's your fault. Oh, car cover ass. Go ahead. Huh? Oh, car cover wearing ass. Big ass Dell. That's why you got wear. That's why your shirt a Mini Cooper. Car cover. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they'll go take your ass down and I'm on his side because that nigga is 619, okay? Yeah, but yeah, but uh, she only gonna get, oh, it's only four to ten months, though. Um, she, I do think she, she ain't going to jail. That bitch ain't going nowhere. She's not going to do a day. So I this think so. Is a waste I think so. Of court's time. This is a waste of the court services and this is a waste of court money. Stop wasting fucking resources. She's not going to do a day. Okay. Not I, I disagree. She's gonna pay somebody. She'll never see jail. If, if, if not, if not, they'll put on they put on like home detention. She'll be like in jail at home. She's not going to a facility. She ain't going nowhere. She ain't going, she ain't gonna be on jail at home. The bitch gonna be in the mall. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of the mall. <laughs> um, we got Houston, we got a problem. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, his stupid Rodman. Okay, then turn. Mm -hmm. Sticky fingers, goddamn Rodman. He playing lookout for some boosters. Did y'all see that shit? Yeah, I saw that. Oh at, 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 so at a yoga studio? We got the video. Check it out. Yeah. We have the video, but it's not, um, it's actually not going to be a uh, sound video. It's just the video. Let's take a look. Motherfucking sticky fingers, Rodman. Hold on, sorry, y'all. I'm still working shit out. Don't judge. Just look. Just watch. Watch this clown. The studio in Newport Beach are reportedly accusing former NBA star Dennis Rodman in connection with a bizarre theft. The whole thing was captured on video obtained by TMZ Sports. Take a look at this. It shows a man believed to be the NBA Hall of Famer walking into Vibes Hot Yoga Tuesday afternoon with two like, women yeah, and a man. It. The security video shows Rodman apparently distracting employees while one of the women hid behind him to stuff clothing into her purse. Then you see the man with Rodman grab a $2,500 crystal art piece from the front desk and drop it as he tried to place it on a dolly. At the same time, the woman in the green appears to stuff more clothing into her bag. And according to TMZ, they left the store with more than $500 in merchandise. The website says the police report has been filed. Rodman's attorney declined to comment on that case. Okay. That's bad, man. That's bad. That is That's terrible. I mean, he he is the phone on some serious hard times. God, at a yoga studio? Yeah, at a yoga, really? Same with you. At a yoga studio? But she starts, oh, you know, wait, she starts asking all the right questions. Which evidence is to you since you have heard her? Sorry, y'all. You know, we're still working. That's sad, man. That's that's sad. I, he done. He, he went all the way down. He went way down. Way down. You are the. Oh damn. Let me tell you, he is doing. He is doing the absolute worst. Yeah, 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 he is doing <laughs> you know you you gonna see it and hear it or hear it and not see it. You know how our show is. You think you gonna get both? You ain't gonna get both. Where the hell you think you at? <laughs> I know. We think you at a real show. We just know how we just know how to do this shit. I can't talk on the phone. <laughs> Here. Look, we just know how to put this shit up. You're out. <laughs> y'all know this is a hood show stop fucking judging us I know y'all know we over 40 technology just coming to us yesterday shit don't be judging us <laughs> Jamie told me can't hear you Nicky more can't see it can't hear it next time god damn it no, god I'm damn, good. you want a real show take your ass to Instagram Jamie <laughs> this ain't it <laughs> We gonna work it out, I swear. I swear. Oh. We're gonna work it out. What's up? Right now, from your experience, when Clyde comes up, does he usually have a check? Sometimes. Okay. Yeah. What times does he usually come up? Who knows? It can be. It can, it can vary. No, I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm not a junkie. I'm not nobody like that. No, no, this, this is for my partner. Nah, huh? Ah, he looking for your partner. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I had a junkie today. Asked me though. <laughs> 
Huh? He looking to take him down? No, Junkie asked me today, if I snort this coke in front of you, you going to say something? <laughs> I'm like, no. no. I need the other cancel. So, listen. What else going on? In the news. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. No, I, Gone. Done, isn't he? Done. Done. done, done. Why did they get rid of little big shots? They didn't get rid of little big shots. They just well, got him. that big shot, nigga. They didn't get rid of little big shots. They just got rid of one big shot. I need the other cancel shots. Remember? Who um who who, who, who took little big shot? Big shot. Uh... Give me the honey, huh? What'd you say, Tammy? I think Melissa McCarthy took little big shot. Melissa McCarthy took over. So M NBC Universal announced this morning, yesterday, that was yesterday, that Steve's show has been, a, Steve's been officially removed as host of the, the unscripted NBC's Little Big Shots. Steve will be replaced by Melissa McCarthy as MC and talent uh, for the talent competition. But the thing is, um, the show itself is not canceled. Okay. Steve's ass is canceled. Okay. We talked about that. We talked about that on yesterday. It's a few shows that have been canceled, and his is just one of them. It turns out there have been uh, uh, several cancellations, not complete cancellations like there's some other shows ending, like Rel, your favorite comedian show, got canceled. Um, it was not good. It wasn't. No, Did you terrible. see it? Terrible. It was terrible. It was the, the writing was horrible. The writing was bad. I don't, I don't, you know, and, and we tried, Timmy and I, to give a fuck about things that other comedians do. We do care. We care. We out in these streets together, y'all. So we care. But truth be told, that show had not the best writing and it was like, ugh, ugh. But honestly, I, I agree with you, Chef. They about to take yeah. him down. Steve is about to why, go down. Why though? Why? What happened? What? What, what is the problem? I don't. I don't understand. What's, why are they taking Steve down? Well, Man, I'm, I'm not a Steve fan. I'm not a Steve fan. I'm just saying. I'm just talking. I'm not a why Steve fan either. Going? But it seems like a little delay, right? Right. It seems like a delay. Hey, Joe Jack, welcome to the party. Like and share the feed. It seems like it's a bit of a delayed response to. What had been, uh, what, uh, what had been sort of like a um, snowball effect from his coming out in support of Trump. So I don't know if they was waiting, if they were waiting for some Trump shit to happen, or they were um, planning it like all the while and waited for a particular right. time. Like now, I don't know. But first, his talk show, the announcement came. Now this. And yeah, I'm I'm not exactly sure why. I can't. That none What's of this makes of, sense. What's the fate of Family Feud? I don't know. Stay tuned. <laughs> I don't know. But that, you know, it's like I'm telling you right now. When they when they when they, when they start taking you down, they take you all the way down. They don't play when they. So this this is something something big about to happen. See, uh, something about, about to come out about C. Something 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 about to come out. Steve about to get something on his ass. Out about him? Yeah, they about to they about to take him down. When they start doing this shit, they start they start digging deep. They start digging real deep on your ass. I don't know what y'all think because Steve actually, uh, you know, came out. We talked about this yesterday. Came out not necessarily in support of Trump. He went <clears throat> in a, a failed attempt to um, be, you know, have a seat at the table. Although the 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 deck the deck was stacked against him from the minute he walked right. into that goddamn White House, the deck was right. stacked against him. He could not have won because he does not have the capacity to compete on that level. He was out he of his league, and he yes, had he no motherfucking business taking that meet. Zero, no. by himself. And what makes what, what made him think that well, I'm Steve Harvey? You <laughs> not fucking with him. You are mistaken, Jeff. Yeah. That nigga ain't coming over here. Uh, we, we try to keep our show. Fuck that. Steve, you're the bitch. We are not Steve in this bitch. Oh, big, 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 big
big mustache ass. We ain't messing with that big. I don't know. Oh, he cares about oh. Timothy. I, in fact, I, I was a little bit partial to hair weave, Steve. I don't like this motherfucker. This motherfucker be sending out messages to his staff, telling him don't talk to him in the hallway and shit. I ain't fucking with him. Hair weave, Steve wouldn't have never said no shit like that. I know. All of a he got his head because he think he's shit. That's how bald niggas do. All bald niggas. He and just went crazy. Lost his whole in mind. All bald niggas, then they all bald niggas, then they better than everybody else. I said it. You bald niggas because you, you bold enough to go bald. That's your fault. You only bald because your hair fucked up from the middle, from the middle and all the way. That's your fault. If you bald, fault. look at me and niggas that still got their hair. You bald bastards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John, oh, bald head niggas always mad at everybody. What you looking at? Look at you, you bald head bastard. You 22, you bald. <laughs> You're at bastard. What happened to you, Weed? Yesterday you what had a weed. Nothing. <laughs> oh, bald head ass niggas always bald. Ever since R. Kelly cut his head, all oh, bald niggas try to get bald. Now R. Kelly got his head back. He a rapist. Should stay bald, nigga. <laughs> ever, since he got, ever since R. Kelly got his shape up, he went raping people. <laughs> Do we get down to cancellations? <laughs> 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 no, uh, man. So anyway, uh, we we still working on production assisting, y'all. So forgive us. But there were a number of other show announcements yesterday. Um, in in addition to that, Power in his last season. Yeah, I thought they said I thought they renewed for a couple of more seasons. Now that was last season. What happened? I wonder what happened. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know exactly what happened. They decided that, you know, this was it. They decided that it's best to end on a high note. I guess they took a page out of Shonda Rhimes book and, you know, it wasn't canceled. The the creators and the producers, you know, whoever makes that decision decided that it's a good time to end it on the sixth season. It's the sixth season. I think it's a little too soon. I, 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 I wonder if they're going to kill Lucia's line. Come on, man. Don't kill me, man. This is Lucia's line. Come you on, man. No, How am I supposed to survive? I just start liking my gay son. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. You don't gotta kill me, man. Where's Jesse at, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, and what's the last season this year? Empire. I tell you the funniest shit about that whole power thing, though, is he said, Ball, uh, Monroe said, Ball niggas swear they win. <laughs> Ball niggas are winning, though. It's something about that phallic baldness. That just makes me feel a way, you know? I don't know what it is, especially if they chocolate and bald. I'm into it. I'm totally into it. So all you bald niggas out there, yeah, like call me. My like number the, is 443 Oh, bald nigga, dog. Like, like a shaved testicle. Nigga, sit there, nigga here like a shaved testicle. <laughs> oh, shaved testicle head ass nigga. Call me today, Baldy. Four four three six seven seven. <laughs> bald. Bald. Yeah. Not bald. Bald. That shit good, you old ass nigga. You don't know y'all got what's that? What's that disease called? Procretion. You know you got procretion, nigga. I'm oh, saying, give me a nigga with a receding hairline. Me too, bitch. Me too, bitch. I live for it. You know, shit. Hopefully, it means what it seems like it means. That nigga ain't got long left. That's nigga, what I'm looking forward to. Nigga, you, your shape up better than half the niggas I know. I know, because I'm talking about you. Uh, you, you huh? <laughs> that's right, because that's what we do, baby. Right. What they established in Dying Perfect. I know that's right. Uh, the problem is, that's a myth. Cause I I got hemmed up with two old motherfuckers, and them motherfuckers did not die, so I quit. Okay, fuck well, that. I feel like they was misrepresenting shit. We got well, together because I figured they would be dead by their next birthday, and them niggas kept living. Yeah. Fuck that, well, y'all. I quit. Nigga, nigga, wait, cologne. They ain't got cologne. They got Mucinex and Febreze on. Okay. Nigga smell like Mucinex. <laughs> old nigga smell like Mucinex. That's what you like. You like old nigga smell like Mucinex. Oh, Mucinex ass niggas. Hey, Mucinex and Capri. And Capri. That's <laughs> old niggas like, come here, what the fuck you got? Oh, that's my Mucinex. And Capri. <laughs> Six minutes, Ducky Fresh. That's all we got left. <laughs> we got our producer back, man. We ain't got long for this life. Yeah. 
Oh my God. Wait, Al, look. Come on, Chef. That's the shit I'm talking about. Bring it. Claim your stake. Keep your hand, nigga. Don't die ball. Don't do it, nigga. Your shave testicle ass. Don't do it. Keep that hair, Chef. You don't need that hair. You don't need that hair. <laughs> All right, keep it going. Keep it. Don't cut your hair. I'm, I'm for the other niggas with hair. And I take care of you. Don't worry. I'm sorry. You and nigga be using the same razor. Fuck around, get hair bumps. Better leave that shit alone. Yeah, I do have a little whiskers though. I gotta go oh, see my oh. black girl. Oh, yeah. Michael Black was doing a, um, bringing people into his Instagram live yesterday, and he was talking about what's your insecurity. And I had a big picture of my coins that I was gonna put on his live and go into that feed. Yeah, so, I yeah, yeah. He went picture of your fucking coins. Your shit ain't no joke. Them motherfuckers like crab. Them like crab claws. That, that shit's horrible. My corns played the um dummy, the the stunt double in Boomerang. Them them was my feet. That was your feet. <laughs> that was your feet. <laughs> that was my feet, nigga. My my feet. Uh, my corns are stars. Okay. Stars. Everybody oh, else, yeah. you know, just got corns. My corns are celebrity corns. So you understand, Nikki, Nikki do everything over the time. One time I said that she, was, she had glitter. And well, this bitch done put glitter on her corns like it's part of the shoe. She had glitter. She had, glitter. Was she had, she had <laughs> glitter and she had glitter and two bedazzled diamonds on two of her corns. You going to tell me polish the whole toe. He said, your feet look so bad, you just need to polish the whole toe. Don't just polish the nail. Polish the whole motherfucking toe. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did you start bedazzling corn? I got on that little plane that time. This motherfucker, we walked up to the plane, and little Timmy was tall as the plane. And I was 80 pounds bigger back then. So we walk up to the plane, like on the tarmac. We get ready to get on the plane, and I bump my motherfucking head because it was that small. He going to tell me to sit in the middle to balance the weight. <laughs> Y'all, y'all saw that fucking plane, yo. I look, soon, soon as we got on the plane, I call all my family and tell them, look, I love y'all. I ain't going to make it. I got Nikki on this plane. We going to die. We going to crash today. That plane was horrible, wasn't it? I had to choose me or my luggage. We both couldn't go. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We sitting there on low ass planes and cheap ass planes, and y'all want some good shit on this live feed that we doing. Get the fuck out of here. This ain't no first class. This shit right here is Spirit Airline. This is Spirit Airline of talk shows. <laughs> it's coming. Thank you, boo. I got you. Sexy socks. He said, see, that's what I'm talking about. Improvise. No, I'm nigga. You can't make it be. Chef, no. you ain't got no picture of, but whoever you is, I, you my, we go together. Fuck that. Nikki, we go together. Nikki, okay? you, have to go to sleep with, you have to go to sleep with your boots on. You can see Nikki corn through some Timberlands. You can see him through them. You can see her. You can... <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? How your Timberlands get so wrinkled in the front? That's all her feet. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> this shit comes in handy, though, because you know I got them little ankles, and them corns be balancing me out. <laughs> she got right my feet in an electrical tape before she put her shoe on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us. We gotta get ready to get out of here. Look, Big Dale, how much time we got left? It's it's time to go. So, little Timmy, what you got going on? Again, I'm be a, yeah, sorry, I'm okay, so you with that? You with that? Look, I'm I'm gonna do like coffee. You know how my girlfriend coffee. So you with that shit? You with that? You know everybody got that crazy ass ride or die. That's mine. That bra man, I love her to pieces. And would take her to any fight, boy or girl. She'd be like, we doing jokes when I was in that comedy competition. We got two minutes, y'all. I was in the uh, comedy thing in L.A. And we in there, and she in there, and she in the back of the room. And, and I'm doing my jokes, and she looking around. This is that shit. <laughs> she like, oh, you ain't think that was funny? You heard what she said? You ain't think that was funny? And I was like, girl. <laughs> She got a shit. club, but the motherfuckers was laughing as we left. Let me tell you that. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I'll, I'll be in New York on Saturday for a big show oh, with my man Joe, Joe Claire with Joe Claire. 
You ain't think that was fun? You were like, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I'm going to call coffee. Nope. Uh, yeah, we had a good time. No. So, anyway. y'all, you and Joe Claire in New York. Joe Claire, Joe Claire, uh, uh, Carl Payne, John Hinton, Carl Payne. And, and TK. Y'all know Carl Payne is telling jokes now. That's Cole from Martin. Yeah, and he I, saw him. I saw him with Bill Bellamy. Bill Bellamy is a wonderful guy. Bill Bellamy, yeah. when Carl first started, gave him some. He was here in D.C. at the Improv. And uh, Carl came through because he was in that play. Um, I can't even remember the name of the play. Him, uh, Twanda Braxton, a few others. And uh, they were at the Warner Theater. And he came by on uh, Bill's last show. And Bill put him up then. Not only did he put him up, he came out into the audience and watched him do his set, then gave him feedback. I said, this motherfucking shit is the shit we need. That is the, the kind of um, mentoring that every young comic needs to have a vet like Bill Bellamy, who has all this time in the game, people like you, Timmy. And I really want us to, um, you know, just kind of create or cultivate something where we can do that for young comics in the game. Yeah, that's, what, Nikki, that's fine, but young comics have to listen. But they will that's listen. The they gotta learn how to listen. They gotta learn no. how to listen and understand that this is this is this a lot going with that goes into this. They have to listen. Yeah. I think we should so. do it though. We should do it. We're gonna do the DC comedy connection. Let's that's call it. I don't even I don't even take care of my own kids. I gotta take care of somebody else's kids. Fuck that. I ain't mentoring shit. See, you can't have that attitude to me. He made it yet. I'm on fucking Facebook Live with you. And then you want me to mentor somebody? We got this, ass, this, this right ass Facebook show every morning. And then you want me to mentor somebody? And he making more. I mentor him and he do better than me. Fuck them. Fuck mentoring. Fuck you, young comics. <laughs> oh my God. Timmy, you want to make my eyelashes come off? You got to stop that shit. I ain't got no more lashes. <laughs> Yo, young Carl is going to make it better than me because like, I helped you out. Fuck y'all. I'm trying to make you. I ain't give a damn about no young Carl. Uh, <laughs> learn how you learn, touche, nigga. Touche, sir. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Get it like you get it. Like you get it. <laughs> like you get it. Oh, my God. Listen, thank you guys for tuning thank in. You. We got a wrap. But as usual, we are here each and every weekday morning around 10 10 ish. <laughs> One of these days, we're going to come right in at 1010, I swear. I want to thank regulars. Our, um, look, Timmy Monroe just want to have you. I like Monroe. Come on. That's, Keep on. That's, that's, that's our Yo. team member. That nigga all right. He all right. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah, man. We right here. And we will be doing the best we can with this motherfucking software. Until we can do better. So, anybody judging, Jamie. Well, first of all, the, software, the software came from a Commodore computer. You know we old. This is a, this is Commodore computer software. Anybody remember? <laughs> if you remember a Commodore computer, you old as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a Commodore, you are old. <laughs> the who? The Commodores? Commodore, the Commodore computer. Commodore 64. <laughs> <laughs> y'all judgy motherfuckers y'all get on my nerves <laughs> how y'all gonna be all judgy my girlfriend look I got a girlfriend this is funny to me that that uh, told me she got she. I, I think she got fired from her job cause she one of them little puppy chicks right and she said the supervisor told her you just too sing songy <laughs> Sing songy. <laughs> like, You're fired. You're too sing songy. I thought that was the funniest shit. You know what was the funniest part of it? I knew exactly what the fuck that bitch was talking about. I'm like, bitch, see, that's it. She she actually put words to it. So tell somebody in your life that sing songy to sit the fuck down and pipe down. Okay, give them some Ritalin or something. Calm down. Don't nobody feel like that sing songy shit. All right, we over. We got to right. So I'm out, Timmy. All right, Shreen. Have a wonderful day. Watch out for the junkie at three o'clock right there. Okay. I know. I know. How you doing, man? Look, how you doing? Tell me he got clean. He got clean. I was like, you off drugs? No, I just took a shower. So he's still on drugs though. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, okay. All right. We'll be back here tomorrow because we got to. You know why? Because we got to get little Timmy a new job. And it's too early for this. It's too early for this shit. I believe that. Hi, Boo. Be safe. Bye, babe. Love you.